Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to cover update task in Microsoft Project 2013. Now using this menu, I can quickly update the project task to 100% or I can schedule it to the schedule percent complete. Let's take for an example that you're working on a project, everything is running smoothly and fine. Now instead of updating the task on a daily basis, what will I do? I will update the task to their schedule person complete weekly and then if I have to make changes for a particular task which are falling behind or which are way ahead, I can manually adjust them using this particular menu. We will have a better understanding of update task in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn about updation of task using Microsoft Project 2013. Now, in order to explain you this constraint, let me tell you what will be the scenario. In this case, if you see for this project lifecycle, if I go to task ID 4, that is business analysis, what I will do, I will change I, or I'll alter the percentage complete by changing it using the update task menu and by keeping the duration of that particular task as constant. So let me uh, show you the practical approach towards it. I will go to the task tab and under the task tab, I'll click on mark on track drop down menu. If I click on this drop down menu, I see there are two options. The first option says mark on track and the second one is update task. I'll click on update task. The moment I click on update task, it shows me the task detail. If you see the name says business analysis as the task ID for task ID 4, the task name is business analysis. As we can see, it's similar. The percentage complete is 100% as we can see here as well. The duration is three days and remaining duration is zero days. So what I'm doing out here is I will decrease the or I'll reduce the percentage complete. Right. Let me make it to 75% by keeping the actual duration as constant without touching it. So I'm keeping it as three days and I'll keep this as zero days. Rest of my details will remain the same. All right, guys. So let me hit OK. I'll click on the OK button. Now, if you see some changes has been occurred in my sheet or in this table. So let me elaborate it by using the earned value table. All right, guys. So if I want to get the earned value table, I have to go to the view tab and under the view tab, I will click on table drop down box. And in this table uh, drop down, I'll click on more tables. Another window will pop up in right in front of your screen. And in this menu, I will click on earned value. All right. Let me apply these changes. I'll click on apply. Now you see the layout of my table has changed. Now let's try to analyze what has happened. So I'll go to task ID 4 that is business analysis. The planned value for this particular task is $189. Now if I go to the earned value, you see there is a difference. The earned value says it is $141.75. All right. So the for the task which have been completed 100% for those tasks, planned value and earned value will be similar as you can see on the screen. All right. For task ID 4, that is business analysis, there is a difference. And that's why I can see there is a var uh, schedule variance as well. If I go to the schedule variance tab, you can see there is a value. So this value is the difference between the planned value and the earned value. If my task is 100% completed, it will be similar. But as we have changed it to 75%, that is the reason. Now I can see there is changes change in planned value the value in planned value is different than the value in earned value all right guys so this is what update task does by keeping the duration constant if we change the percent complete it does affect our cost table as well or the earned value analysis table as well so this was all about this video hopefully you liked it 